Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Raiders and the 49ers, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it will be the AFC champion Las Vegas Raiders taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. It's been a good season for them so far. They're just looking to keep that momentum going forward. They like their record. Now they want to increase it. A win here could really get the momentum going in the right direction. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And off we go to wrap up a great Sunday of football. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Cameron Jordan showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. How about the defense there trying to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing the tone for this one. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. But Charles, you, you think about their impressive record, and then you look on the screen and see some of these injuries, that makes what they've done all that more impressive. And when one of their starters or one of their key guys can't play, they miss it. But they just say, get well. We'll hold the fort until you get back. And the next person steps up into that board. This team has done a nice job all year round. No excuses, just performance. Everyone rolls into the Super Bowl saying, hey, I'm confident. I'll just do what I did before. But let's face it, you got to be wary of the jitters going into a big game like this. Super Bowl is unlike any other game you're going to play. And now he's starting out 0 for 2. We'll see if he can rebound. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Ready. From the 37, they work on second and six. Black. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Sheds off the tackle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know. But what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose. And that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was 
ball's always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Ritter now looking to throw it this time. This is caught. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Niners are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. 